Hey, this is Todd K. Edwards here. I'm going to give all my fellow guitar players a few tips on how to conquer their stage fright. Everybody has to deal with stage fright. Um, even myself, before I go on stage, about 5-10 minutes before, I get jittery. My hand's shaking, my heart's pounding, I'm sweating, I'm nervous, my mind goes blank, I freak out, then I know what to do. But here's some tips that have helped me in my, uh, with dealing with anxiety and stress and stuff like that. So I feel that these tips can help you as well, maybe you haven't thought of these before, and help you relieve some of that stress before you go on stage. The number one tip that I can recommend you uh, doing is just practice your material. Know it in and out. This will build confidence in yourself and you'll know when you go to the gig like, I can do this. I know I'm going to conquer this. I'm not going to mess up and you know, the, the performance is going to be great. That's the main number one point because if you don't feel like you've practiced enough or you don't know the material enough, you're not going to feel confident and you're not going to show that while you're on stage. Um, a little thing to help out, uh, another little side tip on that is if you do mess up in your performance, just drop out. Stop playing. Um, if you keep playing, you keep flubbing around, people are going to hear that and it's going to make you sound even worse and that's just going to make you get even more nervous and more stressed out and then you're just going to keep flubbing notes. Just drop out, you know, let it go groove to the music, you know, and then when you feel confident to come back in, come back in slow, and boom, it's like nothing ever happened. Most people, you know, non-musician people, they don't hear these things, you know, they're not noticing these things, but if you make it obvious and they know you're frustrated on stage doing things, they know that you're messing up, so just, just drop out, play it cool, and you know, relax. Uh, tip number two is uh, just don't look at the audience. You know, if you make eye contact with people, it's going to make you even more, uh, you know, nervous at first. Usually once I get into a performance like 10 to 15 minutes, once that five minute mark of the first song you get through, you start easing down and you start, your adrenaline starts kicking in. Once that adrenaline kicks in, then you can start making eye contact with people, but don't make eye contact with people at first because that's just going to make you even more nervous. What I usually do is I pick a spot in the back of the room or the venue or anything and I, uh, you know, just concentrate on that at first until I feel confident, you know, to make eye contact with people. Uh, number three is maybe close your eyes, you know, and groove a little bit and just listen to the music. Let the music, you know, get inside you and just take over your mind. Because, you know, if you're, it's a battle. You got your mind thinking, oh, I got, you got all these worries right here. But then you got the cool side of your, you know, the music side of your brain going, no, 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 this is great. This is what you want to do. So they're fighting. But once you kind of just relax and let it go, let the music take over, just close your eyes and everything should fall into place. But like I said, that, first, that 15 minutes before and that first song or 10 minutes uh, into the gig is, is pretty much the stressful. But after that, once your adrenaline kicks in, you're great. Uh, tip number four is move around a little bit, you know? Play to the other band members. Because remember, what you ultimately want to do is you're on stage for yourself and your band, not the audience. They're just there witnessing it. So treat it like it's a performance, like a, a practice gig or something. Like you're, you're in your basement or in the garage or somebody, wherever you practice at. Put yourself in that mindset, you know, because usually when you're practicing with just your band members, you let loose and do all these cool things, and then when you get on stage, you freak out, and you're like, oh my god, everybody's watching me. You just got to kind of push that out, and, um, you know, so just maybe go back into that moment that you had while you're practicing with your band, and just and play to your members, you know, feed off their energy, and that, that's going to pretty much, you know, make that stress go away and kind of, you know, kind of push them out. And the last tip is... This is a good one, and I've uh, got it from Steve Vai. He, when I was sitting on his uh, Evo experience, he really put, put this forth as something to do. Just imagine yourself playing before you even go on stage, and before you're even doing this, the night before, a couple days before, just picture yourself on stage playing the songs that you've been rehearsing. Just do that. It's kind of like a meditation. Just, just play the songs in your head and how you're going to react and what you're going to be like and what it's going to feel like when you're on that stage before you even hit the stage. Because that's going to give your mind um, prepared and it's going to, you know, so you're going to kind of already know when you get into the situation what to expect. Of course, there's always going to be those, you know, things that you never planned for that's going to happen. You just kind of have to adapt and let it go. Let it happen. Don't beat yourself up. That's the main thing. Don't get discouraged if things don't go the way that you envision them in your head. Nothing's ever perfect and nothing ever will go your way. Just roll with the punches and just have fun. That's my main thing I can stress here. Just have fun on stage, and before you know it, like I said, after you get that first song out of the way, your stress and anxiety goes away. But, like I said, everybody has stress and anxiety before they play. If they don't, then there's something obviously wrong with them. I have it every time, um, but the more you do it, the more gigs you play, the easier it gets. 
So I hope these tips help you. If you have any tips of your own, please leave them down below on the comic se comment section. And I'd love to hear them because I'm always looking for new ways to uh, conquer my anxiety and stress. Um, as always, if you want to follow me up on Twitter, because sometimes I do give tips or just uh, retweet other people's things, just follow me up on twitter.com slash Edwards. Also, if you want to uh, hit up my personal blog, it's toddkedwards.com where uh, you can find my music. I offer guitar lessons, uh, online guitar lessons through Skype, and just um, my blog that I just kind of post random things. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.